open up settings and then go to the output section. Uh, from here, I want you to change the output mode to advanced. This is because you will be able to change the most settings possible to make sure you fine tune everything. In encoder, you will be able to choose between NVIDIA or X264. And this, what you should choose, really depends on how powerful your GPU, respectively your CPU is. For example, if you have a RTX 2080 NVIDIA card, and uh, an i5 processor. The graphics card obviously is more powerful, therefore you should go with NVIDIA. On the other hand, if you for example have an NVIDIA GTX 1060, and then a processor of like a i8 for example, then you should go with X264 as your processor can process more, obviously. Personally, I would try both and see which one gives you the most frames while streaming and yeah, see which one is best. Now to the juicy stuff, right? The rate control, make sure you have this on CBR. This stands for constant bitrate and will enhance your stream quality and make sure everything runs smoothly. Speaking right. of running smoothly, your bitrate is crucial to your video and streaming quality. Make sure you do not exceed 6,000 bitrate on streaming. This is number one because platforms like Twitch have a cap where you cannot have over 6,000 to 6,500 bitrate on your stream, otherwise your stream will be downscaled to a very low resolution. It's also because most internet connections just can't handle to stream on a very high bitrate. So you can actually go to speedtest.net, click on go and you will be able to see your upload speed. And you wanna make sure your upload speed is over 35. This is because I would preferably want you to have a bitrate of 3,500. You can have lower as well. This is just like a uh, sweet spot for me. You gotta find the perfect bitrate for your connection. You wanna keep keyframe interval at zero seconds. The preset is very important that you get right. You do not want to go under medium in my opinion. My best suggestion is to have on a slower. This will make sure that you have a good quality stream while also making it a bit easier for your computer to handle. If you have a very good computer, go slow. If you have a very bad computer, go with slowest. I'll always put tuning on high quality to make sure your stream is in good quality. In multi-pass mode, if you have a laggy PC, go with single pass. But if you have a decent PC, a two passes with a quarter resolution should be fine. Profile, I would have it on high if you're experiencing lag try it on main have a look ahead and psycho visual tuning both checked and gpu you do not need to have this on max b frames should be on either at two or free. Now I'm gonna have it on two. At the video section, have the resolution at 1920 times 1080 preferably, but you can actually downscale the resolution to one of your two following resolutions in case you're experiencing lag. 1600 times 900 or 1664 times 936. Trust me, the difference isn't big at all. And yeah, if that makes so you're, you will lag less on stream, I think it's worth it. Usually you don't need to have a downscale filter if both your scaled and canvas resolution match. FPS values don't need an explanation, have it on 60 or 30 if you are lagging. At the advanced section, have the process priority at above normal. This will make sure that your computer processes your stream or recording before stuff like a game or Google Chrome, or anything on your computer. At the video section, I would recommend to have the color space at rec 709 and the color range at full to make sure you get the, the most, most colors. colors. This is just a tiny detail, it's not too important actually. And at the stream section, make sure this box ignore streaming service setting recommendations is unchecked. If this is checked, you risk your stream of getting a too high bitrate and that is amazing. Now we annihilate the apply button and leave a like on this video if anything did help it would mean so much. And if you are lagging even with these settings for streaming, I want you to check out the video on the screen right here.